Hi, welcome back to our video tutorials. Today I'm in the warehouse and we have a 25 kilowatt high power FM transmitter. We'd like to show it to you, uh, to show you some of the main features, and how to set it uh, and how to use it. So let's go. So we're in the warehouse and we have a 25 kilowatt high power FM transmitter. Um, let's have a close look at some of its features. So as you can see, this is the main control unit. You can use this to set the power of the machine directly from here. Let's do that. Now it's set. Let's change it to 10,000 Watt. And confirm. And as you can see, the control unit automatically adjusts the power. Now we'll change it back to 5,000. And it's back to 5,000. Here you have the main menu where you can access all the settings. And this is the home menu where you can easily change the power or the frequency. Now, okay, if for some reason the main logic stops working so the control unit is out if you want to change the power of the transmitter you will have to do so by acting directly on the amplifiers for example this is amplifier one you set it to local Then you hit enter and you change the output power to the desired level and then you hit enter and confirm. This is for amplifier one and you would have to do the same for all the other amplifiers. Do not change the power from the exciter you should never change the power from the exciter as you see this is the set forward power for this exciter is 10 watt it has been calibrated to work perfectly with this machine so do not change the output power on the exciter only on the amplifiers if the control unit doesn't work. But when the control unit is on, then everything is done automatically. Now, let's wait for it to turn on. Okay, so it says on air, we set this back to normal and now the control unit has taken over again. So the control unit is automatically managing the power of amplifier one as well as of all the others.
Okay, so it's always easiest to adjust the power from here. If this doesn't work, then you have to adjust it from the amplifiers. You should not adjust the power from the excitor. Okay, so let's see what happens when one of the modules uh, stops working and you have to replace it with another module. You have to set the same address. Uh, so if, for example, if we replace module one with a different uh, amplifier, we will need to use the address of module one for the substituting uh, amplifier. So when the control unit is on, all amplifiers should not be uh, in manual mode. They should be like they are now. But if you are to replace a module, to set the new address, you will have to go into manual mode or local mode. And now you will be able to make modifications and adjustments. So if you go down, enter the menu, and then go to the set address setting, enter. Here you can set the address of the module that you want to set it to. In this case, it's module one. Confirm. And that's it. So that's how to set the address of a module. And once you're finished, take out the manual mode because the control unit is on. Okay, so let's see what happens when one of the modules uh, stops working and you have to replace it with another module. You have to set the same address. Uh, so if, for example, if we replace module one with a different uh, amplifier, we will need to use the address of module one for the substituting uh, amplifier. So when the control unit is on, all amplifiers should not be uh, in manual mode. They should be like they are now. But if you are to replace a module, to set the new address, you will have to go into manual mode or local mode. And now you will be able to make modifications and adjustments. So if you go down, enter the menu, and then go to the set address setting, enter. Here you can set the address of the module that you want to set it to. In this case, it's module one, confirm. And that's it. So that's how to set the address of a module. And once you're finished, take out the manual mode because the control unit is on. Now this is the back of the machine, let's have a look at the connections here. In this case we have the control unit, so the LAN, as you can see, starts from the control unit and then it goes into the RS485 port of the exciter. And from there, it goes into amplifier one, 
steal the RS485 port from amplifier 1 to amplifier 2 and so on all the way down to the last amplifier. It's a sort of bridge effect as you can see. So it starts from the control unit then goes into the exciter and then into each amplifier. This is for the LAN connection. So that was our 25 kilowatt transmitter. We hope the video has been useful to you. If you liked it, uh, give us a like and subscribe to stay updated with all our tutorials and broadcast talks as usual. See you in the next video.